Love Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me here in Balmoral Beach in beautiful Sydney, Australia. So I made it to this place all in one piece after my Singapore trip and I've had a really nice few days. I, when I arrived at home, I had a really bad chest infection. I even lost my voice for a few days, which was an interesting experience. I haven't had that before. So if you catch me coughing away in this episode, you'll know why. Um, so I've got a few things to go over. I've got my little iPad, I don't have a laptop here. I put some notes and I captured the charts on the iPad today, so I'll be able to do this reading from here. I also wanted to mention a little bit of channel news before I begin. I've got, I think, mm, three videos that I shot. Two I think I shot in London, one I shot in Singapore. So those I'll be making in the next few weeks and launching them in the next few weeks. But I am in Sydney, Australia for the next few months. So if you're wondering, oh, how come we're seeing a London video, then you'll know why. It's just because I shot it before I flew out. So there's some old footage that's going to be coming, which is very appropriate because Saturn Cape to Conjunction, we're bringing up the past. So, <laughs> you know, it makes sense that I'll be using some old footage in the future. Um, let's do an astrological matchup of the news, shall we? Because the news has been absolutely fascinating. Gosh, it is sunny this evening, isn't it? Um, yeah, there was the arrest of Julian Assange. That was such major news. Now that happened on 11th April, the day that Jupiter went retrograde. Isn't that absolutely fascinating? The day that Jupiter goes retrograde, boom, he's found. Um, and I did have a little bit of a look at that astrologically and I'm going to talk a bit more about what I'm seeing there with him in a moment. Uh, there's also a continuation of Gandanta type energies. We had Notre Dame on fire, 16 April 2019. And again, another bit of Gandanta type news. In Australia, we have bushfire warnings. And we never have bushfire warnings during Easter. This is kind of a first. Uh, and I've you know, been up on the bushfire news because our house is located close to some you know, green greenery and all that kind of thing. And we keep on top of that. And it's absolutely extraordinary to see that there are bushfire warnings around Easter time here. So that's absolutely incredible. Now, I've called this episode, May 2019, Truth Under Attack. And I find this concept of truth under attack really interesting astrologically. Let's take a look at what I mean when I say truth under attack. I'm gonna draw up my transit wheel here. I always do transits by the wheel. Uh, I like the diamond boxes, you know, that's my go-to and I like the square boxes for certain things as well, but I love using the wheel for transits. And we'll start with the moon. I'm going to make the moon as our top bit there. We'll have a look at three, nine, and we're going to draw on, I want Rahu here and Mars. So we've got Rahu, Mars, up here in Gemini and we're going to have Ketu Saturn down here in Sagittarius so as you can see truth under attack right so where's the attack happening the attack is happening up here with Mars and Rahu we love to fight and we've got the truth I'm gonna put a star down here for the truth We've got the truth down here in Sagittarius with Ketu and Saturn conjunct. So now Ketu and Saturn are actively digging up the truth and the past. We've got a lot of past energy. You know, we had Leaving Neverland, uh, the Neverland documentary that came out. That was all about the past. And now look at this, what Julian Assange is doing, having to go through. He's, he's been arrested. Can you believe it? Um, really shocking news and that happens as soon as Jupiter goes retrograde right so retrograde covering old ground and that's happening as this as 
Mars and Rahu come together in the sky up here, right? So Julian Assange gets arrested while this activity is going on. These two are coming together, uh, Mars and Rahu, they're coming together and they're coming together for a fight. And I'm saying that the truth is under attack. What else do we have up here? Up here we also have media. We have even mainstream media can be can be classed as being here. And the mainstream media are attacking the man that holds the truth, right? He holds a lot of truth. He knows what's going on. He's got a lot of truth about everybody. And as Mars and Rahu come together, he's been arrested. And I mean, I pray for him. I hope that nothing happens to him. And, um, but you know, there are some big players, big media type players up here in Gemini, corporate entities, that kind of thing, media, right? And the media might want to attack him truth is under attack okay um this is not a good thing it, it's not a good thing but look at the planets they're they're working they're they're going around to enlighten us to bring the truth out to clean things up to untie karmic knots that's really what's going on here you know all the planets are acting to evolve us and to enlighten us and to to really get us to move forward you know and as they move around you could be stubborn you could stick your heels in and you could make things painful or you could go with the movement you could go with the flow and you could you know you could experience new things I mean gosh Julian Assange I, he's um he's a fellow Aussie and and quite a go with the flow kind of guy you know so let's see how he moves with this flow and I pray that I pray that the planets are looking out for him you know so what I'm going to do is I'm going to check my notes and make sure that I have covered everything um, sorry that's all right hello <laughs> that's what this beautiful country has all kinds of uh, swimmers and surfers people. and <laughs> lovely people <laughs> everybody's friendly here i tell you australia is magic when it comes to people and as i say everybody going with the flow and having fun and swimming and surfing and doing all good things i would go in the ocean myself but i'm still recovering from my chest infection so i'm going to check my notes and make sure that i've covered absolutely everything for you guys one of the things that i I did just want to go through is that yeah Rahu is kind of testing the boundaries of information and what is information and how is it used um, in this place of Gemini because Gemini information communication all that kind of activity is happening here so that's Mars and Rahu sharing the sign of Gemini between 7 May and 22nd June 2019 and in everybody's little mini reading this time I'm going to be covering this conjunction and where it happens for you so what's Mars? Mars is all about fighting for what you believe in. We've got Rahu, which is expansion, it's activity, it's future, it's energy. It's so many more things, but I'm just jotting that down for now. Uh, Gemini, communications, media, right? So what are the things that we're really looking at with this conjunction being on? So we're looking at free speech. We're even looking at hate speech. We're looking at what's okay to say, what's a verbal attack. We're looking at trial by media, so that was leaving Neverland again. I think Julian Assange is experiencing some trial by media type action as well, um, which is disastrous, you know. Uh, we don't want trial by media, I think that's kind of crazy. Um, but let's have a look here. I wrote down a series of questions that I thought were really interesting in terms of what these planets are going to be bringing up and getting us to look at. And yes, this will be in terms of the global, in terms of the collective, it will also be in terms of our individual lives as well. So this question, what is information? What, is, what even is information, you know? Um, what's the agenda behind the distribution of information? Fascinating question. What is journalism? What is the news? What is the truth? 
right? G Gemini Sagittarius line. Gemini Sag, that's, what is the truth? Who can I trust? Who is telling the truth? You know, in a world of illusions, how are stories used as currency? What is the purchasing power of these stories? Right? Money, you know, business, business interests. Third house, you do see business activity in the third house. As well as self-effort, power, courage, siblings. There's a lot in that third house, but, you know. This was a really, I gave this extra stars, five stars, this one. Does information have the power to bring a government down? That's what we're coming to, right? That's what Julian Assange and everything that's going on right now is really bringing up in the collective. If you know, should you say? Are you even right? What role does journalism have in our society? And this question, this is another five-star question. Can information ever be stolen? Fascinating question, right? So, news-wise, there's a lot going on. I'm recording this on the 18th uh, of, of April. We're in April. So if there are other news stories that come up in the meantime, you know, um, who knows, maybe I'll get time to do a little video. I am doing readings, guys. Uh, I've taken some new requests for readings, so if you'd like to book me for a reading, please do um, come and have a look at the website. The website is now live again. I did take it down for two weeks. And as it always happens, you know, when you have a holiday, you, you catch a cold and you're unwell. So I spent most of my little holiday in bed, you know, with the chest infection, but I'm all good now and I'm back at work. So if you'd like to book me for a reading, you're very welcome. And what I'm going to do this month is I'm going to, um, instead of having jump links below, I'm actually going to just break down the um, mini readings into small little bite-sized videos for you. And at the end of each video, what I'll do is I'll film some of the beautiful scene that I'm in so that you'll be able to see where I am. Because this is such a gorgeous location and I really wanted to share it with you. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. And be sure to comment, do a like or dislike, whatever you want. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Hey guys, I thought I'd share with you this beautiful scene. So I was sitting just over there on those rocks and this is the whole scene. Isn't it stunning?